So for the people at home, you can look up hog AI on your work computer Don't and learn that. all about it. Don't do that. Welcome everyone back to the pen ultimate episode of this Nerd Central season. I'm happy to announce that thanks to the efforts and bribes from our lawyer, Jason Goodman, Nerd Central is here to stay. That means that I can once again say I'm your host, Tyrell, and let's kick it to the news. Up first, let's start light by talking about one of the biggest box office hits to grace us this year. That's right, the Super Mario movie has the highest grossing debut of 2023 so far at a staggering $377 million. This also makes it the biggest global release for an animated film, beating the previous five which all belong to Disney, including its runner-up, Frozen 2. This feat was no doubt accomplished by the massive recognition of Mario himself. The near-perfect voice cast and Jack Black's song Peaches, which has gotten stuck in all of our heads. Peaches, 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 you. Next, stay quiet and listen as A Quiet Place is getting a new prequel movie in 2024. Directed by Michael Sarnowski and based on John Krasinski's original screenplay, A Quiet Place Day One, there still isn't much information on the project. So we don't know if this film will take place in the same town as the original, or if it will take place in a more broad perspective, showing more of the devastation that the Death Angel invasion brought. Either way, we're excited to see when it releases next year. Lastly for today, let's look at the plastic, fantastic life of Barbie, as the film of the same name has released a trailer, giving us a look at its absolutely massive cast. We already knew about Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling starring roles, but we also see Issa Rae as Barbie, Kate McKinnon as Barbie, Seema Liu as Ken, and Michael Sarah as the one and only Alan. The one thing the trailer is light on, however, is plot, as we get next to nothing about the overall story. One interesting thing to note, however, is that Barbie and Ken appear to cross over into the real world, making us question what this movie could really be about. Regardless of anyone's theories, we'll figure it out when Barbie releases later this year on July 21st. That's the time we have for the news this week, but stick around for Where It All Began of Jessica, Anime Stitch of Olivia, and Get the Clip with Joe. Check it out. Hello everyone, I am your host Jessica Dobbs and welcome to Where It All Began. The time has finally arrived. I am a major fan of this artist who has spread the message of treat people with kindness around the world for almost six years. I'm going to be talking about the fruit man himself, Harry Styles. Harry Styles came into the spotlight in 2010 on the UK hit show The X Factor. Harry was only 16 years old when he auditioned, but he was later put in a group called One Direction on July 23, 2010 with Louis Tomlinson, Liam Payne, Niall Horn, and Zayn Malik. Even though he's from a small town in the UK, he has hit major stardom. I talk about one of his bandmates, Niall Horn, in a past episode, but today it's all about the curly-haired pop star. You all know the One Direction details and how they were formed, so let's just go into his solo career. After the band went on hiatus in 2016, Harry immediately went into the studio to record his first album with Columbia Records. His first single, Sign of the Times, was released on April 7, 2017, which reached number one on the worldwide music charts. This was only the beginning for him, and there were so many projects that come to impact the world today. Harry currently has three studio albums, Harry Styles, Fine Line, and Harry's House. With all of these songs, he has won three Grammy Awards, with Harry's House winning Album of the Year of 2022. I might have cried while watching this moment happen during the Grammys. Some of his award-winning songs are Adore You, Vermel and Sugar, and the popular single, As It Was. Harry has also been on a world tour since 2020 called Love on Tour, which I got to attend on October 8th, 2022 in Chicago for his first night of the residency stop. If you want to know a funny little fun fact, 
He actually ripped his pants on stage during his LA residency tour. If you already knew all this stuff about Harry being a singer, then you probably are a fan of his. His concerts are a once in a lifetime experience, so I highly recommend you get tickets to his last shows. He's done many acting jobs as well. Harry starred in the Christopher Nolan film Dunkirk as Alex who was a World War II veteran in Europe. He recently starred in two popular movies that you might have heard of. Don't worry darling. It's no one's fault Alice, it was an accident. And my policeman. See, I must have some taste for art after all. It's all the time I have for where it all began. I could talk about Harry Styles all day if I could, but I don't think you guys want to listen to me. Anyways, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe to KNWT. I'm your host, Jessica Dobbs, and I will see you nerds next week. Hello, one and all, and welcome to Anime Stitch. I'm your host, Olivia Williams, here to talk about anything anime, from the classics to the brand new and anywhere in between. And all throughout this season of Anime Stitch, there is one word that I've said a lot, and that is favorite. So today, I've chosen two of my ultimate favorite animes, and I've decided to dig deeper into the animes and explain why I really like them and the meanings behind the actual anime. So let's get started. The first one I wanted to talk about is Seraph of the End, which I've talked about here on Anime Stitch before. So Seraph of the End is about a deadly disease that wipes out most of the human population and vampires end up showing up and controlling the rest of the remaining population. This is where you meet the two best friends, Mikaela and Yu, who end up getting separated after a huge battle and is determined to get each other back no matter the cost. Now, I started watching this anime in 2015 when it first came out, and I still can't stop talking about it. This anime is all about overcoming a huge obstacle in your life, and the discovery of found family, and that no matter what, someone will always be there for you. And I really like that about this anime, besides the action and fighting, of course. And the next anime I want to talk about is Skate the Infinity which is another one I've talked about here on Anime Stitch before, which is all about a underground skateboarding racing circuit called S. This is where you meet the main character, Reki, who loves skateboarding at S, but never seems to be able to win any of his races, and Longa, a person who just learned how to skateboard a few months back, but ends up being able to skateboard better than Reki. I watched Skate the Infinity a few years back, and I ended up binge watching the entire show in two days. And in this anime, it really talks about doing the things you love and not really caring about what others think about you and that you should never stop doing the things you love. And that really hits home for me and makes this anime even more enjoyable. But that's all I have for you for this week on Anime Stitch. I hope this deep dive into my favorite animes brought more light into them and maybe we'll give them a try. But I'm your host, Olivia Williams, and I will see you next week for the final episode of Anime Stitch. Bye bye So today on Get the Quip, we're gonna be taking everything we've learned and turning Porter yes. into Thor. Ready? Ready. Let's get started. Alright, All right, so first we need to get the plate. So right now we're getting the plate that is going to be the footage that Porter is going to be shocked on. But I need something to start with, so we are recording the plate. All right, so we're dimming the lights a little bit, so we've got a blue light in order to get a little bit of that practical effect magic. So let me mess with that real quick. <laughs> Three, two, one. Bar loving thunder shit. Bah! Perfect. All right, so now we gotta get Porter looking like he just got shocked. So yeah, you ready, Porter? I'm super ready. We'll, 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 we'll be we'll be right back. We'll be back. back. We'll be right back. We'll be back. Okay. We gotta find good dirt. We gotta find good dirt. Yeah, yeah, Are you ready? Yeah, yeah. What am I makeup? Oh god, I feel like I'm being assaulted. <laughs> Do you? Yeah. Alright, you're good. That looks pretty good actually. 
What do you think? Yeah, put some in my mouth so I can like spit it out like uh, No. I, if you want to do that. I'm not putting dust in my mouth. So is the dust going to show up in the camera? Alright, so now that we got all the footage shot, we've got all the ingredients, so let's go cook. That's good. We can stop there. Yay! The rest of it is gonna be uh, after. By Thor, Love and Thunder on Blu ray and DVD! I'm gonna go play that for a bit. Did Porter have to leave me with all these legal fees? Like, I, I can't pay for this. Idea. We sue Jin to counter sue. But we don't have any money to sue. Like, okay. Over the break, I'm gonna go find a way to make money. KZLX is a student-run radio station where Northwest students have complete freedom during their shifts. KZLX also hosts many radio shows such as Nermageddon, Revive, Day-to-Day -day Picks, and more. To learn more, visit kzlxfm.com. Hey you, you're finally awake. Welcome to Gen 2. Your place for all things gaming and ready tech related. Glory to Stoltzka. On this show, we play a variety of games, from sports <laughs> to horror to everything in between. <sighs> Sound interesting? Make sure to come join us every Tuesday at 6 p.m. Okay, so we started a Kickstarter, a GoFundMe, a Patreon, and now we wait. But what, why, you can't just create those for no reason. Like, they have to give us a reason to give us money. You okay, know? but what if we promise them something? Like, like what? Like brand new episodes, Rumor Has It with Libby and Brianna, and The Nerd Review with Caleb. But we give those out for free. Attention all Swifties, I need y'all to breathe in, breathe through, breathe deep, breathe out. There is groundbreaking news on this week's episode of Rumor Has It. Taylor Swift and British actor Joe Alwyn have been dating for about six years before they decided to call it quits earlier this month. A source close to them said that the split was largely caused by differences in their personalities. Taylor's level of fame and the attention from the media was too much. Now, people were actually like talking about at her concerts that they were noticing when she was playing like the folklore songs that she started crying. And then people were like wondering like maybe she was getting too much into the music or if something else was going on and then the news broke about them splitting. I was gonna say, I wonder what it's like not being able to get closure on that because you know, it's not out in the public yet and you're already doing something so public about it, but like no one knows. And I, I it has to feel like you're so yeah. alone. And people were like, people that were close to them actually said this happened weeks ago. So then I'm kind of curious, like, did it happen even before right. or like right as the tour started? Here's the thing. I am terrible when it comes to keeping up with like super mainstream artists. I didn't yeah. know that Taylor Swift had a boyfriend. No, like At I, all. I didn't know if it, like she had it. Uh, I think it was, they said like they started in like, tw like 2016, like, you know, being cited and all that. Mm -hmm. But like she's so in the limelight, you can't like she just can't go out in public and but not like, be But like here's honest. the thing though, she's trying to keep 
her personal professional life separate, mm -hmm. but she writes songs about her ex-boyfriends. Yeah. And I feel like that's like a gray area. Yeah. Where it's just like, it can get a little dicey. She's dated a lot of famous mm -hmm. people too, so like. Yeah, like Harry Styles, the song Style. Oh yeah. Was about him. Oh yeah, no, I thought that was like very bold that she used style too. Cause like for the first part, I did not know that was about him until someone pointed it out and I was like, oh. Like it makes so much sense because that was the era where he had like, his long, like, slicked mm -hmm. back hair. And I was like, oh my gosh, the James Dean look-alike yeah. makes so much sense now. But this person, like, we, like, he is, like, famous, but not really. Not as famous as you would say, like, Harry Styles is. Yeah. yeah. So I can kind of see, like, how, like, they were able to keep that kind of more personal. Mm -hmm. So I feel like with her and Harry, it was broadcasted everywhere, like, oh, they're at this cafe, they're at you know, this right. place Right, and like and paparazzi that. was all over them all the time. With two big names together like that, I mean, obviously oh, you're yeah. bound to get some attention like that. Even though it is sad about their split, I am looking forward to what Taylor has in store for the near future of her music and what story she has to tell next. That's all the time we have for the last regular episode of this season of Rumor Has It. Join us next week for our highlights reel. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment your favorite rumor has it moment from this season. I'm Bree. I'm Libby. See, See you, you next week. week. Hello and welcome to the Nerd Review, the show where I review anything and everything that is pop culture. My name is Soleil Dressen. And today, I will be discussing one of the biggest things that ever happened to pop culture that practically started the term pop culture. As today, we will discuss and review life. So. After not having a life by just reviewing in my room, I decided to go out and explore, not because sunlight is good for me, but just because I'm trying to make content. So, you might be asking yourself, how do you review life? Simply put, I don't know. But what I do know from my research, AKA standing outside and realizing that there's nothing to do, I'm gonna try and do something and review it as well. There are many aspects to life. Philosophy says life is when you eat, sleep, and grow. But this isn't a review of philosophy. This is a review of life. So I try to go into nature and review that first. I'm standing outside of a building, not because the front door is locked or I'm appreciating its architecture. It's because I'm fascinated by it. I mean, who built it? Why is it there? And can it let me in because I need air conditioning? So this is where I started with the review. As you can see, the building is very well built. The built building has been really well built because of concrete and brick. Now, I'm gonna go a little bit more in depth on trying to be with the building itself. The building does taste a little well built, but I'm pretty sure the building could be built a little be better. Here I am standing in a parking lot made of concrete. Now, I would like to review nature, but there's not much nature to review. As you can see, humans have taken over nature because they're in need of buildings, parking lots, and McDonald's. Lastly, for this review, I decided to interview humans as they are a big part of life. I don't know how, but I will find out. Hello, who are you? My name is Jason Off, and I'm a senior instructor here at Northwest Missouri State University, and I am just finishing up my 18th year. Wow, so due to that, you are you quite old? Let me just start off like that. I am going to be 58 years old in a couple of months. Due to the fact that this video is taking too long, I decided to cut the interview short. Thank you all so much for joining me on the Nerd Review. That is all for now. Bye. Okay, but what if we- Just give it up. It's not gonna happen. We're not gonna make any money from that. We can't even get a sponsor for the What's the Nerd? It is way too late for that. It's coming up next. I'm gonna go help Porter with it. <sighs> okay, so I've got this really cool new idea called Nerd Coin. Kirsten, what are you doing here? What do you think I'm doing here? Making TikToks? And it's not about what I do. 
It's about what we do here. So we start with storyboarding the content we want to create for our clients. It could be anyone from small businesses, nonprofits, and organizations both on campus and in the Maryville community. We write, we film, we edit, we create, and then we wait. So if you're someone who thinks you need us, we are KNWT Creative Services. Welcome back everyone to yet another segment of What's the Nerd. As you can see, I'm out of jail because no cell can hold me. This week, I have a very special song with an ag miner, loose for latest producer, and seven foot two NBA Hall of Famer, Riley Whittington. Say hi, Riley. Hi, I'm so tall. <laughs> you're tall, you're a massive giant. Shaquille <laughs> O'Neal should be ashamed. I love Shaq so much. Shaq is the greatest, but he's, you know, he's mad at you because you're way taller than him. Yeah. Oh, I'm sad he's mad at me now. I love Shaq. You look lonely. I can fix that. So you used to be an ag media major, correct? I was. I started out at Northwest um, with an ag media major, and now I'm here, broadcast productions. Oh, nice. So could you please tell us, could you elaborate on what ag media is and why you took such a special interest in it? So when I um, came to Northwest, I had zero idea what I wanted to do. But um, I went on a tour here, and I was like, ooh, ag media. It was brand new the semester I started here. Really? And I was like, I know that's what I want to do. Don't know what I want to do with it, but that's what I'm going to sign up for. Um, and I spent two years doing ag media. And once I got into broad ops and like classes with Adam and Will and just like all of, once I got really immersed into media, I realized that I still wanted my ag background, I could never leave that, but mm -hmm. I had much more of a passion to make the things rather than to make them about agriculture. I'd still love to do that, but um, my passion was definitely within media. So I switched over to here, but when I was an ag media major, um, you can choose one of three tracks. You can choose journalism, mm -hmm. advertisement, or broadcasting. I was broadcasting ag media, mm -hmm. and um, I, did mostly only my ag classes and I think that's why I wanted to switch over and dive fully into media was because I spent a lot of time over in the CI and McKimmy and um, I was ready to make things rather than learn about um, animals and plants because I did a lot of that. <laughs> yeah. Going with agriculture and stuff, what have you done with the agricultural department? Um, so, as I said, I did about two years of like all my ag classes. Um, I only have one more ag class that I have to take, and that is soil science next semester mm. um, at 8 a.m. Super excited. Um, but um, I, I like to try to mix my time in media with my time in ag, because mm -hmm. as much as I loved my time in ag, I would find myself getting kind of bored because I wanted to be making things about it while I was learning rather than just sitting in class and going to the lectures and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I've always been more of a like, if I have something to do, I learn better. Um, and I think that's kind of where my love of media comes from. But um, I kind of combined my old show, It Takes All Kinds, I combined that and I went and did an episode on the dairy farm. Yeah. Um, that was really fun and that was, I wanted to be able to give give an audience an explanation of what goes on at the dairy farm also while I learned about it because while I know some of what goes on there, I was also learning while I was in that process and stuff mm -hmm. and I wanted to be able to give that to an audience as well. So you had just mentioned your last show, It Takes All Kinds. What was that transition between, you know, going from like a like documentary show to an in studio show like Lucy Related? Yeah, so I um, started out on Amazing Things, and that was when I was a crew member, and I knew I wanted to produce, and I loved making the documentary shows. I loved telling a story of a person. Um, I was very tired of making the same format of video, though, every week, so I wanted to come up with It Takes All Kinds, um, where we went and actually did what the person would be talking about. Um, we 
We went with our lovely host, Jackson Weddle. We mm -hmm. went with him to St. Joe two different times. Um, he tried out concrete statuary. He tried out instrument repair. Um, here in Maryville, he worked on the dairy farm. And I'm so sorry, Jackson, I'll never put you on a dairy farm again. <laughs> um, but that was, it was a very immersive project. It was very much, um, I definitely, I'm glad I did it. I definitely learned a lot from it, and I learned that it was not something that could be made weekly. But I realized that I needed to find a different way to tell people's stories through action rather than verbal storytelling. Right. And I needed to not travel all <laughs> over with five other classes. <laughs> exactly. Um, so I came up with Loosely Related, and that the transition from it takes all kinds of loosely related while i wouldn't say that it was easier mm -hmm. it was definitely more manageable yes um it i i i love loosely related and i'm really excited for what i'm going to do with it within the next two semesters um it, it's it's just so fun that's all the time we have for this episode of nerd central remember to like comment subscribe and please don't idolize elon musk he benefited from the apartheid state and has child slaves have a good night. It's just, We've talked about the way to cut the episode. Cut to camera one right now. <laughs> <laughs> None of this is going to make it in. It's going to be great. OK. But what if we, I, just, I don't have anything after that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you can like feel the person. You can't, you can't feel the person. <laughs> you can't feel the person. Why did Porter have to leave with the legal fees? I. Oh, I thought we were doing the music. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to my iPhone. Shout out to the Ridge minimalist steel plated wallet on the table. <laughs>